Hello and welcome to Shell Point Today for Tuesday, October 18th. I'm Mary Kay Grimaldi. And I'm Rich Nation. Thanks for joining us. Coming up on today's show, Jeff and Melody of the Legacy Foundation will tell us all about Stocktoberfest. We will meet a new addition to the medical team, podiatrist Richard Calhoun, and Bev Chanley visits with Jeannie Veldman of Icing's Travel to talk about upcoming trips. It won't be long before the holidays are here. So now is a good time to be thinking about Christmas gifts and how you can decorate them with unique tags. Just in time, the Academy has scheduled Christmas Tags, a two-session class where you'll have fun learning how to create these festive embellishments. You will be provided with a kit for each of the tags that you'll finish in the class. The dates for the class are this Wednesday, the 19th, and also October 26th, beginning at 9 a.m. in the Sable Room of the Woodlands. The Computer Club will hold its monthly meeting on Thursday, the 20th. Mike Peterson from Computer Medics returns to talk about new and innovative ways scammers are trying to access our computers to steal our information or sell us unneeded software and services. He will explain how we are being attacked and what to do about it. Be sure to bring your questions for this interactive session. The Computer Club will meet in the Manatee Room on the island at 2.15. It's time for Pumpkin Patch Bingo. B-I-N-G-O and Bingo was his name, oh. Well, it's this Thursday at 1.15 in the Social Center on the island. Come on out for some fun with Pumpkin Patch Bingo. It's sure to get you into the autumn spirit. This month of October is known for German festivals, or Oktoberfest as they are often called, and the folks at the Legacy Foundation, in cooperation with Feinmark National Bank and Trust, decided to incorporate the custom into their fall financial event, where you'll learn all about the assessment of the global macro environment in the U.S., Europe, and Asia. Current views on equity markets and the associated risks and reasons will be presented. The event will be complete with customary German sweets and refreshments and a German UPA band. Here's Jeff and Melody from the Legacy Foundation to tell us more. Shell Point, on behalf of the Legacy Foundation, thank you so much for joining us here today, and we look forward to seeing you around campus. Well, that was a pretty good segment, wasn't that it? That was great. You did a super job. Thank you. I'm taking a sip of this pumpkin spice. Mm. Mm. Yeah, the fall has turned, the weather's changed. It's really nice outside, isn't it? Absolutely. And you know what October brings? Oktoberfest. Stocktoberfest. Stocktoberfest, that's yes, right. Yes, we're combining custom and currency this time. Okay. You got some German heritage? I do, actually. In fact, my grandparents used to sit at the dining room table and speak in German so the children wouldn't understand. Ah, smart grandparents. Yes. What about yours? Yeah, my mom's German. And, uh... They used to speak German, too. I don't know what, what they were saying. <laughs> well, you know, I'd like to learn a little bit more about my heritage. Me, too. Hmm. <gasps> what? We're German! So we are digging into our heritage, aren't we? Let's do it. Just in time for Stocktoberfest. October 27th. Yes, it's Oktoberfest with the financial twist. Our friends from Feinmark Bank are going to be here talking about all the financial things happening in the world today. Absolutely, and then there's going to be German sweets that you don't want to miss with the sounds of yesteryear Oompa Band. We're going to bring a German band right here? You bet, right to Friendship Point. Friendship Point, you don't want to miss it October 27th. It's going to be a great time, Stocktoberfest here at Shell Point. Yes, it starts at 9.15 in the Social Center with sign up required. Just call 466-8484 to sign up. And it concerts at 10.30 with complimentary delicacies. You don't want to miss it. We'll look forward to seeing you then. Health and Wellness Manager Michelle Tompkins wants to introduce you to a new physician consultant scheduling appointments here at Shell Point. Doctor of Podiatry Richard Calhoun joins Michelle now to talk about his practice and the importance of caring for your feet. Hi, I'm Michelle Tompkins of Resort Services and I'm pleased to be here today um, introducing you to a new physician here at Shell Point, Dr. Richard Calhoun. Hi, welcome to, thank you for being here and welcome to Shell Point. Thank you for having me at Shell Point. Um, 
Dr. Calhoun is a doctor of podiatry. Correct. And so you're new to Shell Point, but you're also new to Florida. Tell me a little bit about where you came from and what brought you here. So I'm originally from Columbus, Ohio, so I'm a big Buckeye fan. So we moved here from Toledo, my wife and I. Uh, 1,300 miles, a long car ride. Uh, that's where I did my residency training up at Toledo St. Vincent Mercy Hospital. It was a level one trauma center. Uh, that's where I did foot and ankle, car wrecks, all the above as far as related to foot and ankle. So I played football. I went to undergrad at John Carroll University. I was a middle linebacker. So <laughs> We like football here down here in Florida too. Well, so tell me a little bit about when you're going to be at Shell Point, what days, and what kind of services you provide here to our residents. So I'm here at Shell Point currently, uh, Wednesdays and Thursday mornings. Uh, I provide basically anything that's needed with foot and ankle care, anything from routine nail care, diabetic foot checks, mm -hmm. all the way up to ankle fractures, ankle fusions, anything that's basically related to the foot and ankle if you have a problem. I'm trained to take care of it. Okay, and that's something that we certainly need here um, in our community. It's very important to take care of your feet, and I know that a lot of us have certain issues. Um, are there any areas that you definitely um, see more here than elsewhere? More here will obviously be more geared towards the elderly population. Mm -hmm. uh, foot care, basically making sure they don't have any open sores. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a big thing. Always checking feet daily, making sure they don't have any open sores because that can lead to much bigger problems. Absolutely. Um, one other thing I was going to ask about, um, there's one piece of advice that you could give us regarding the care of our feet other than what you just said. Is there anything that we should know? Actually two. Mm -hmm. One is women love cute shoes, but they are horrible for your feet. The other one, so wear comfortable shoes, more supportive shoes. The other one is especially for elderly or diabetics. Mm -hmm. You can put lotion on your feet, just nothing between your toes because it can get wet, break open, and you can get sores that way and get infections that way. Wow. So it's a key piece of information to try and prevent problems. That's what I like to do is prevent problems as opposed to treat them. Sure, preventative care, right? Correct. And the more we take care of our feet, the more we're going to be able to be mobile and, and not have do those. Do the things we enjoy. Sure. As, like We are a very active community here at Shell right. Point. You've probably figured that out by now. You always see people walking around. I'm sure patients would rather be at the golf course than seeing me for their foot problems, but if they have problems, <laughs> I'm happy to take care of them. Okay, well, we're glad to have you here in our community, and if you need to, please um, give Dr. Calhoun a call. Absolutely. Thank you for being here with us, and welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Resort Services Program Coordinator Bev Chanley is here to talk to us about the travel program at Shell Point and highlight some of the upcoming trips that you might be interested in joining. She's brought along Jeannie Veldman of Icing's Travel to talk about the fun that you don't want to miss. Hi, I'm Bev Chandley, and I'm here today with Jeannie Veldman from Icing's Travel, and she's the, the president and CEO, chief bottle washer <laughs> from Icing's Travel, who we've worked with for many years for our travel program that we offer for you residents here at Shell Point. So Jeannie was nice enough today to come and speak with us a little bit about our 2017 travel lineup. So I'm going to say, Jeannie, let's start with our trip to historic and fascinating Cuba. Tell us a little bit about our Cuba trip coming Great up. Great opportunity, Bev. Well, well, it starts out with this is the first ship that's ever come from the United States to Cuba and back. That gives a consistency of accommodations and food on the ship, the convenience of traveling in that manner without having the difficulty of going from one place to the other in Cuba. And all the excursions are included so you don't have to worry about what you're going to do and what you're going to see. It's all taken care of. Three great ports, Havana, of course, for two days, Cienfuegos on the bottom part of Cuba, and uh, Santiago de Cuba, and it gives you different flavors each place we go. And you have a special guide lined up for, for well, your Well, yes. We have, we, on all of our trips, we always include our own private guide, and this one will be Kent Kaufman. For those who know Kent, he's great. He speaks f uh, five languages fluently, and Spanish, of course, is one of them. <laughs> well, that's great. Okay, from Cuba, we run 
went off. We went off to the Galapagos Islands. Great well, opportunity. That's a wonderful place. Super, super. The Galapagos Islands. It's a place that really, time again, has uh, stood still. The wildlife is very tame. You can get up close to it. But we're doing it the right way, in style, on the best expedition suite, uh, ship that's out there. And that particular ship gives different qualities and difficulties in excursions. So someone who wants to be or can only do something easy can do it and not miss it. And, of course, the animal life with the sea lions and the uh, uh, iguanas and the giant tortoises are incredible. Well, you know, that's one of our residents' real fears is having to be on too rigorous of an adventure. So that's really nice to know they have those different levels. We keep doing that. Any place we go, we consider everybody who wants to travel. Well, excellent. All right. From the Galapagos, we're going out to Utah in the Four Corners area. That's a beautiful part of our country. This one, again, will be escorted by our tour manager, Kent. We're taking no more than 28 people on it, and there's a lot of reservations coming in, so we're, we're really encouraging everybody to book early. We'll start in Salt Lake City. We'll go down to Moab, and we'll enjoy wonderful Anastasi uh, pueblos and sightseeing areas. We'll do Arches National Park. Canyonlands National Park will be on three train adventures. They'll be including the Durango Silverton Railroad, the Georgetown Loop Rocky Mountain Railroad, and the Pikes Peak Railroad. Now, the next area we're going to talk about is our trip to my old stomping grounds. I have 14 years in Washington State, and my heart's still out there sometimes, but we're going off to the Pacific Northwest. Tell us about that trip. Well, this is a trip that's totally catered and custom to our residents. It really is an exploration of an area that a lot of people have maybe touched on, but really haven't experienced. And again, our tour manager, Kent, is going to be part of that. We'll start in Seattle. We'll include Olympic National Park. We'll include Mount Rainier. We'll work our way over through the Cascades to okay. Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, Hell's Canyon, and then end in Glacier National Park. So this is a great, great trip for those who love to do the great American West. And you, you will really experience the real West if you take that trip. There's no doubt about it. And we have one more trip going out on August 5th next year to Scotland. Iceland and Norway. Iceland, Jeannie, really, Iceland. Special, special <laughs> trip. Brand new ship, the Koningsdam from Holland America will host us. Um, and this trip is actually, I had never seen anything just quite like it. We'll start and end in Amsterdam. We'll go over to Scotland and spend uh, three days and two nights, of course, on the ship. They'll be in Edinburgh and Inverness in Scotland. And by the way, on this trip, we are including the festivities of the Royal Military Tattoo in Edinburgh. I've heard about that. I've heard it's fabulous. Spectacular. <laughs> then we go over to Iceland. It's four days and three nights in Iceland. Unprecedented. Most ships will stay for a day and out you go. We'll explore the fjords. We'll explore the ge geologic features the history, and of course the fascinating people that live there. Then we're on to Norway, two ports of call. One is Alasund, which is a beautiful little fishing village along the coast of Norway, and Bergen, where you have the opportunity to go on one of the beautiful fjord cruises that oh, you might have heard about. That will be outstanding. And we have one more fascinating trip I'd like to hear about, and that is our trip in September to Austria and northern Italy. Tell us about that one. Again, no one has anything like this at all. This is a total custom trip. Very fascinating. We're going throughout Austria and, again, covering northern Italy. We'll start out in Vienna for two nights. We'll continue to Salzburg for three nights. Then on to Innsbruck and in, in, enjoy the wonderful Austrian Alps. Well, then we're going to transition down to northern Italy. Nothing like three nights in Venice and another three nights in the Lake District of northern Italy with Lake Como and Lake Maggiore and Lake Bellagio. Sightseeing throughout. And of course, this is another one of our tours where we include um, no more than 28 guests on it. We end in Milan before coming home. Great sightseeing, both in the mountains and of course in, in Venice. Um, and again, Kent will be your escort special tour manager on this one. So hope to see you all on this one as well. Wow, that sounds great, Jeannie. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, you folks will be receiving these flyers in your mailboxes uh, for the various trips that we offer with Icing's Travel. And if you're interested or want more information or you'd like to sign up, if you turn over on the back, you'll see my Bev Chanley here with the phone number and Icing's Travel as well. If you call either one of those phone numbers, we'll be happy to give you all the information you need and try to get you out and about on one of these trips. Thank you very much for having us. And now it's time to cover all of today's happenings, Academy News, Menus, and Village Church Connections. Welcome to today's happenings of Shell Point TV. I'm Dora Robbins. And I'm Bev Chandley. And we're here today to tell you about all the activities that are going to take place at Shell Point this week. We're going to start off at 715 with Bend, Breathe, and Balance. That's at the Health Club on the island. We also have at 8 o'clock Pickleball, and that's at the Game Court on the island. We have Round Robin Tennis at 8 o'clock at the Tennis Courts. At 8.15, we have Stamp Ministry, and that's at the Stamp Room. Volunteers are welcome. We have Bocce at 8.30 at the Bocce Court at the Woodlands. At 8.30, we also have Ladies Golf, and that's at Shell Point Golf Club. At 9 o'clock, we have Assisted Living Tea and Tour. That's at the Arbor Dining Room at the Woodlands. We have Caregiver Support Group Therapy. At 9.15, that's at the conference room in the medical center. Sign up is required. At 9.15, we have memory care group, and that's at the conference room behavioral health. Um, sign up is required for that. At 9.15, we have open painting, and that's at the art studio. At 9.15, we have shuffleboard, and that's at the shuffleboard court on the island. At 9.30, we have match play mixed double tennis at the tennis courts at the Woodlands. At 10 o'clock, we have Basic Social Ballroom Dancing, and that's at the Health Club, and that is closed. At 10 o'clock, we have Suzy Q, and they're going to Woody's Waterfront Restaurant. Sign up is required. We have Through the Bible Bible Studies Group at 1015, that's at the Offspring Room on the island. At 1030, we have Caregiver Support Group Therapy, and that's at the Conference Room Medical Center. Sign up is required. At 1030, we have Memory Care Group, Conference Room Behavioral Health. Sign up is required. And our last activity for this morning is 1145 Life Quest Healthy Living, and that's at the Osprey Room on the island. And here's Bev to tell you about this afternoon's activities. Well, thank you, Dora. At 1230, we have Mixed Progressive Bridge. That's in the game room of the Woodlands. And at 1 o'clock, we have a Health Connections class, Chronic Pain Self-Management Program. That's in the Oak Room of the Woodlands. That is currently full. The Knitters Group will be in the Osprey Room at 115. And at 1.15, the Rollicking Recorderists will be in the Tarpon Room down in the tunnel. And our final 1.15 activity is the Women's Ministries Prayer for Missions. That will be in the Hospitality Room of the Village Church. The Stamp Ministry will be in the Sable Room of the Woodlands at 1.30. And at 1.45, we have King's Crown Fun and Fitness. That's at the Community Room of King's Crown. We have Ballet Fit in the Health Club at 2.45. And at 3.45, we have Yoga Fit, also in the health club. Well, we're sure happy to see you here today, and we'll see you back here again tomorrow. Hello, I'm Terry Coleth with your Academy information for Tuesday. At 9 o'clock, our Fracture class, which is Black Text Calligraphy, continues in the Sable Room of the Woodlands. At 9.30, Writing Your Memoirs continues in the Buttonwood Room of the Woodlands. And at 10 o'clock, we have the ABCs of Birds in the Grand Cypress Room at the Woodlands for those who have signed up. At 10.15, we have a new iPhone class set up in Basics, taking place in the Manatee Room of the Island, and sign-up is required. At 4.30, we're going to look at world, the world's most famous trees from history in the Grand Cypress Room of the Woodlands. Sign-up is required. Tomorrow we have a new class with Debbie Melkai of Periwinkle. This time she's going to teach us how to make unique Christmas tags. Menus for Tuesday. In the crystal room, the crystal platter is marinated pork tenderloin with wild rice pilaf and broccoli. For dinner, you can choose from their a la carte menu, and the soup of the day is country cabbage. In the Island Cafe, the sandwich special is a pork riblet sandwich with coleslaw and potato salad for $7.95. Dinner specials in the Palm Grill are Snapper on Papillote for $17.95 or a pork chop with apple cranberry sauce for $16.95. All menus are available 24 hours a day at www.shellpoint.net.
Hi, I'm Dottie Morrison, and I'm here with Char Stemple. We're here for a very important announcement about this month's Women's Ministries Global Outreach Meeting. Hi, Char. Thanks for coming. Oh, glad to be here. I understand we're having a special speaker and a special time. Now, usually Global Outreach is the third Wednesday of every month in the morning, right. but something's changing. So you want to tell me about it? Well, a lot is changing this month for the Women's Ministries meeting. And so the viewers should take out paper and pencil and write this down. And I think the best way to explain it is to use the, the reporter's system of five questions. Okay. All right. So let me start. What is happening? What? The first question is what? The monthly meeting of Women's Ministries that we have every single month, sometimes called Global Outreach. Okay. And when is it happening? Well, the meeting is on the third Wednesday, Wednesday, October 19, but the time is 7 o'clock. Oh, it so is it's changed in the evening. to evening. And uh, we are really excited because the church has given us this special time to present a very wonderful project and a very wonderful person. Okay, so that's right after choir time. Right and after when... choir, and more or less in place of the prayer, uh, usual prayer time, but this okay. will be a good. Uh, spiritual meeting as All well. All right, so different format. Yeah. Um, and where did you say it's happening? It's happening in the hospitality room the of church. the Village Church. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, there's a special speaker. Who is that? Well, the who answer I love. Her name is Jen Vogel, and she is the National Director for Women's Ministries of the Christian Missionary Alliance. Wow, great. She's coming to us from Iowa. She's a... Uh, uh, from a well-known family, if you uh, people from the Midwest know about Vogel Paints, her name is Jed oh. Vogel, oh. and her husband's the CEO of Vogel Paints. Okay. But more importantly to us, she is the national director for the women of the CNMA, and she's very articulate and exciting and has a lot to say to us. Wow, that's great. Yeah. So why is this meeting important, and why would she come all this way for this particular meeting? Well, the why is what I've been waiting for. So usually people are familiar with the uh, women's ministries holding a big Sunday night program to introduce the national project for which we're raising money for right. the year. Right. And uh, last year it was called GPS, Global Positioning System. I remember that. And uh, we had a big program and a lot of fun uh, showing how we are positioned for a purpose, really, and uh, how we are giving funds to help those who are working with refugees and are positioned for that purpose. Sure. So this year, the project was so embraced and so important mm -hmm. that we are having GPS 2. Excellent. And so we are having that instead of on a Sunday night, we're having it on a Wednesday night okay. for the whole community okay. and church okay. to come and hear about next year's annual project from the director okay. who knows the most about it. Okay. I know um, it was so important when I heard l about last year about how we know things are changing in where groups of people are, and sometimes we see that as complete tragedy, mm -hmm. but the emphasis has been God is using this. So I think people who are interested in refugees would want to come and hear this. Absolutely. I also know that <clears throat> on the Sunday night meetings in the past, that's been a very important meeting for to begin the offering because we have kind of a goal for the year, and we take a special offering. So will we be taking a special offering Wednesday we night? We will be. And so we thank you for bringing that up okay. because we set a goal in women's ministries. Mm -hmm. First of all, the national goal is about $350,000. Okay. And so we like to say we raise about 1% of that yes. amount. Yes. And so our goal is $3,500 okay. this okay. year. And we will take an offering. And traditionally, people have given well and uh, given at that time. Right. And there'll be other opportunities to give and always through your offering envelope. But right. uh, this time is our big uh, kickoff, you'd say, or okay. explanation, and we okay. have brought in the best person to talk about it. Sounds good. Yeah. So, if you can join us Wednesday night, October 19th, in the hospitality room at 7 o'clock, there'll be some light refreshments, and then we'll have this special speaker, and you will be challenged. And be sure and think about bringing your checkbook. See you there. Thanks for joining us for today's program. On tomorrow's show, we'll learn about the Walk to Defeat ALS and the informational presentation coming up this week about the disease, and Ruth Duber will return with another great recipe in the What's Cooking at Shell Point segment. Until then, this has been Shell Point Today for Tuesday, October the 18th.
We hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I'm Rich Nation. And I'm Mary Kay Grimaldi. Goodbye, everyone.